We've got a fun one tonight. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. So what I have for you guys tonight, we're going to do another Tops opening. I'll wait for some people to get in here, but we got a Tops Pokemon the first movie booster box. Okay, there we go. We're live. Chris is the first in the chat. What's up, bro? Dom, Team Rocket, Rob619, Jay Avella. What's up, guys? Happy to have everybody here. All right, so this is actually... There's a couple really cool things about this set that I think you guys will really like. So... Top Series 1 is what we opened the other night. This is uh, this is the first edition print of the Topps movie trading card. So what that means is, you guys see how the Topps logo on this is blue? The first wave of this had the blue logo, and the second wave had the black. Now, the interesting thing about this, uh, why so late, says College Gym Games. We were watching the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fight, and then Zach and Chris wanted me to go live, so we're going live. And I wanted to open this. I couldn't wait any longer. So let me explain to you guys the significance of the blue logo Tops box. So basically, Tops was in a rush to make these cards before they had a whole lot of information about the Pokemon movie. So in the first printing, when they didn't know much about the movie, there's some error cards in here. One specifically, and these are only with the blue label, one specifically that everybody talks about is the Pika Blue error card. So it's spelled P I K A. B-L-U. And that is referring to not Pikachu, but it's referring to Meryl, the little blue Pokemon. You guys know who Meryl is. So Tops didn't have all the information about Pokemon yet, so they just kind of rushed these cards out. And in the first printing, they referred to Pokemon like Meryl as Pika Blue, just because it looks like a blue Pikachu. So they just kind of guessed what that card was. There's a couple other things in here. I can't remember all of them. Um, but there are some chase cards in here for the most part. This set is a print of like stills from the movie. So a lot of these cards are just like screenshots taken from the movie. But the, the chase cards in here are the insert cards. And there's some really good insert cards. Zach will like some of these. Um, there's a Squirtle insert that's really hard to get. Blastoise, War Turtle, all the starters really. There's a Charizard, Charmeleon, Charmander. Um, those are the cards that are the chase cards. And I think there's a Dragonite that's really cool from here as well. <clears throat> oh, why do we get an ad on this? Hold on, we got an ad on our free music. I'm trying to explain to the people all the benefits of this uh, This uh, We got a Peloton ad on this. But yeah, there's some die cut and boss cards in here as well, so you can get those inserts. And I think there's some sticker cards in here, so you can get... I think there's a Squirtle sticker, Zach. You can get a Squirtle out of here. Um, so, like I said, the majority of the set is composed of screenshots from the first Pokemon movie, but there's insert cards that are really cool. I guess we're chasing the Charizard, because that's really what we always chase. All right, let me look at the chat here. I'm missing a lot of chat. Shane, what's up, bro? Laura's in here. Chris is in here. Why is everyone saying you subbed? Chris, you subbed? <clears throat> Jesselyn, Steven from Tampa, Argentinian bodybuilder, my guy. He says, good night, people, and my boy Nick. Change the title to Mayweather Life Fight, and you'll get thousands of people in here, says Chris. I'll probably get kicked off of YouTube immediately. But yeah. So the majority of this set is uh, screenshots from the movie, but there's some really cool error cards. So I'll show you guys those. Um, some die-cut chase cards. But I'm going to stop telling you about it. We're going to get straight into it. It's a really cool set. You guys don't have to take my word for it. I'll show you guys. Yeah, Chris Chris is right, but the, uh, the penalty for that, I don't think, is uh, the risk isn't worth the reward on that proposition, buddy. Chris says one guy had 100,000 people watching and he never even showed the stream. All right, so we've got the wrapper off. That 21-year-old, 22 years old now. I believe this came out in 1999 because this set came out before the movie, which is pretty cool. So I guess that's why I paid a premium. I believe these go for about $800 if it's the blue label. I think the black label goes for a little bit less. I think you can get it for closer to $600. But I wanted to get the error cards for the stream. I'll try not to damage this box because this is such a such a cool old box. They're so hard to open. They're so tightly packed. And hopefully we don't have any issues with this as far as uh, the cards sticking together. 
I don't think you really see that as much with these older tops. Oh, this one's kind of jacked up, but with these top sets, I don't think you see it as much. I don't think they're as sticky as the, uh, I kind of want to pop the top out, but I don't want to rip it. I ripped the other one. So we'll get some of these packs out of here. Eight trading cards, including one foil. So the foil could be anything. It could be a hollow screenshot from the movie. Um, it could be one of the insert cards. The foil could pretty much be anything in this set, but for the most part, you get like a hollow screenshot from the movie. So let me take half of these out here. If the pack's messed up, would it be considered sloppy tops? Nick, how much was this junk, says Chris. This box was about 800 But that's because it's the blue logo, and I wanted to get the good one for the opening. The black one is a little bit cheaper, the black logo. All right, we'll get some of these out of here. So we got a nice kind of backdrop to this. 69 for the win, says, says Laura. Put some in the freezer for like five minutes if they start to stick. So I tried to do that with the set that I opened, the top series one that I opened the other night, but it didn't work. The freezer trick did not work. Nick, if there's an Entei, can I get one? There's not an Entei in the set. I know that for a fact. Hey, dude, big fan of your bodybuilding stuff. Stumbled, ac stumbled across your Pokemon stuff yesterday. Thanks for stopping by. Alvaro Lopez, good to have you here. Nick, what happened with the last pack winner? Did you find the guy? Oh, yeah, the, um, yeah, he contacted me, and he contacted Laura, actually. What was his name? Ryan, it was Ryan something, wasn't it? Ryan, uh, Ryan Diamond, I want to say his name was. We found that guy, though, yeah. All right, so let's get straight into it here. We've kept Zach waiting long enough. Now, on these, I don't know if the hollow is in the beginning or the end of the pack. We're in the middle. They don't look... It looks like it's in the middle. I can see... You see that? They don't look like they're too stuck together, so that's a good start. All right, let's see what we get here. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So, the first card... It looks like we'll probably have to do this horizontal. Ash's Sacrifice. So, I guess that's when Ash uh, basically offed himself. Ooh, I think this... Hold on, let's see. Is there another card? Yeah. Ash's Sacrifice. The real passive Pikachu refuses to fight as its clone beats on it. <laughs> so it gives like a little description of the scene. The trainer's failure... Everyone pulls... So let's see... I think this might have been one of the cards. The, the Pikachu's Vacation might have had the poke, the Pika Blue. I think this is it, actually. Let's see. With the miserable Charizard stuck inside of a pretend igloo, Pikachu gathers everyone to join in and yank Charizard out. A rope is tied around Charizard's leg, and everyone starts to pull and pull as much as they can struggle. Pikachu and the gang still can't, still aren't strong enough to get Charizard free. Meanwhile, Pika Blue. Buru, Cubone, and Raichu watch and laugh. So there's another one. I guess they just named Snubble Buru. So the, this is the error. These are the error cards. I'm going to set this to the side because I think these uh, these go for a little bit of money. But Pika Blue and Buru, they got Cubone and Raichu right. Who caught Paul versus Mayweather? This is JP2295. I think most of us here watched it. Um, me and Chris were watching it earlier. I don't know what this card is. Oh, nice. There we go. So we got, this is one of the sticker cards. So this is one of the insert cards. This is kind of one of the chases that you can get out of here. So we got the sticker Charmander. Nice. So we'll put that in the sleeve in a second. So the Rebirth of Ash, I think this might be our holo card. So this is where Pikachu's Tears brought Ash back to life. Man, I gotta, I gotta switch accounts here. So we, I gotta log into my YouTube Premium so we stop getting these ads. This is starting to annoy me. All right, there we go. 
I don't think this will be getting a PSA 10. There's some edgeware. Zach says we're almost to 69 viewers. So we got the ultimate match. Slyther, or Scyther versus Scyther clone. Leaving the nest. Another Pikachu's vacation card. Come on, we need help. I think the Pikachu's vacation card specifically are the Pika Blue. Yeah, we got another one. An exhausted Pikachu rushes over to the Buru and the gang and begs him to come help. Charizard is crying and everyone is struggling. Finally, Pika Blue and Raichu speak up to volunteer their services. Buru, Pika Blue, and Raichu race over to the team and pick up the rope. They all begin yanking on Char. It's like the same description as the other one. <laughs> they all begin yanking on Charizard's leg. So like I said, Topps really didn't have all the information about the movie at the time and really didn't have all the information about Pokemon at the time. So they kind of rushed this set out. And some of this stuff really doesn't even make a whole lot of sense. So we'll put Charmander in a sleeve. We definitely won't be peeling that sticker. Hopefully we can get one of the die cut uh, little embossed cards or something like that. Pretty good condition on the Charmander though. And I guess it's a puzzle piece as well. Let me catch up on the chat. Shout me out so I can feel the love. Haha, ha, love both channels. I'm deep into both channels. San Low. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Shout out to you, man. So we'll put, we'll put our like chase cards over here. We'll keep our Pika Blue stack up in the corner over here. And we'll put like our bulk off to the side. That's what that's how we'll do it. So yeah, tops is fun, man. You get a lot of variety from some of these top sets. This one at the time really wasn't that popular because as you can see, a lot of it is just uh, screenshots from the movie. But some of those chase cards, like the chase card of the Charizard, I think goes for a couple hundred bucks in a 10. And I think these Pika Blue cards that I'm telling you guys about, I think they sell for maybe a couple bucks raw. So we got the story of Mewtwo. You got Meowth and Team Rocket and Mew, I guess, lurking in the background there. The ultimate match. So there's probably going to be a lot of duplicates. Leaving the nest. Nice. Shout out to Zach. So here's one of the insert cards. The insert Squirtle looking super cute. So shout out to Zach. Pokey Kobe with a $10 Canadian donation. My guy. Nick putting tops on the map. What do you think about the fight? Mayweather put on a clinic post-fight was dope, too. I was, uh, I was disappointed and satisfied at the fight. I think that Logan Paul did a lot better than a lot of people expected him to do. But I was disappointed that nobody got knocked out. I think Floyd kind of... Uh, I think Floyd let him go the distance. It was, impressive that, it, was imp it was impressive that Logan went the distance. But part of me felt like Floyd was just playing with him putting on a show. He was there to get the he was there to get the check. He was there to get the money. And I think he let Logan make it as long as he did. But Logan did catch him with some really nice with he caught him with some really good jabs in the beginning. The first round, I think he he kind of caught Mayweather off guard. But yeah, shout out to Zach. So this is these are the insert cards we're looking for. There's a Charizard, there's a Venusaur, there's a Blastoise. So anything that's not a movie screenshot is basically the chase in this. So we'll sleeve up our Squirtle, put him over with our sticker Charmander. Squirtle's in really good shape. But yeah, Zach, you need to start grading some of these cards that I give to you, bro. So this is a puzzle piece. This is probably another chase card. Oh, Zach, two for two, bro. Another insert. We got the insert sticker Squirtle and a nice hollow. The come on, we need help, which we already got over there. So this will have the Pika Blue error on it as well. This is probably one worth putting in a sleeve. So Grant just got here. He's on the Hope It Sticks account. I don't know if I give Grant a, a wrench or not, but I don't know if Grant knows enough about Pokemon to understand the uh, error. But the little blue guy, that's Merrill. The little pink guy, that's Snubble. And when Topps released this set, they didn't know anything about Pokemon, basically. So they called Snu they called uh, Meryl Pika Blue, and they called Snubble Buru. And that was only in this first edition set that I'm opening. And Kobe, by the way, thank you for the donation. I'm going to sleeve up this Pikachu. And Kobe, I'm sorry I missed the uh, Dojo After Dark face reveal that you did. Steven, or, uh, hold on. Steven says, 
For three ninety nine, he says, "How much for a Pika Blue? I'd love to have one. I'll set one aside for you. I still owe you that Ente, by the way. I know I haven't sent you a picture. Um, I owe you a picture of that Ente card. But yeah, I'll set one aside for you, bro. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of them. But this Hollow one is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, Kobe, Chris was telling me about your stream the other day. I guess it was Friday. You did a Dojo After Dark and you did a face reveal. He sent me a screenshot of it. He said Kobe's kind of dime. Chris was kind of in his feelings on how good Kobe was looking. We'll sleeve up the Squirtle, too. Kobe showed his face. Yeah, Zach, I missed it, too. I don't know what I was... I guess me and uh, me and Bridget were... Uh, we were drinking last night. So I wasn't on the uh, YouTubes. I kind of took the night off. I know. I was mad I missed it, too. I can pull it up on my other phone. We can get a look at Kobe's beautiful, uh, beautiful hazel eyes. Stealing Pokemon, Mewtwo. I need to rewatch this movie. I recently rewatched the the Netflix version they put out. It was pretty good. The remake they did. I actually liked it a lot. But I need to watch the original again. Stealing Pokemon. He's got the little evil Pokeballs in there. Like it never happened. There's Chris's favorite Pokemon of all time right there. Togepi, shout out to Togepi. Can we get some, is there an egg emoji? Can we get some egg emojis in the chat for Togepi? Consciousness and congratulations. Kobe says, love you guys. Only the real one saw Kobe's sweet mugs, says Jesslyn. Oh, hell yeah. This is one of the, oh, dude, I'm so hyped. This is the, this is the main insert I wanted besides Charizard, and this looks mint. I wanted this Charmander so bad. This is such a cute Charmander artwork. This is so dope. This is such a cool card. Let me try. Please don't be sticky. Please don't be sticky. I want to get this graded. Oh, not, dude, these are nice packs. We're getting an insert like every pack. We're going to have the whole evolution line for Zach here in a second. War Turtle. This is going to be a good opening. Admittedly, though, I don't know how rare the inserts are. I thought they were pretty hard to get, but it looks like we're get so far we've gotten one like every pack. I wonder, is PSA accepting submissions now? Does anybody know? Says Nathan Ironside. Not yet. I would expect they open up like some of their premium tiers, like some of their Super Express stuff on July 1st, but maybe not everything. I think in the beginning of July, they'll start accepting like the real expensive stuff, but I think it's going to be a while before they get back into bulk. Daniel Lopez says, dang, I wish Nick would call me as cute as a Charmander. Daniel, I don't know what you look like, but I'm sure you're a very attractive young man. I, I don't know if you could compare to a Charmander, though, bro. This has to go in a top loader. This thing is mint. Corners are sharp. Really, what you're looking for on top cards when you're getting them graded is no surface damage, so not stuck together, and really sharp corners because sometimes these corners get really dinged up. This is nice. I love this. This is a good way to start things off. The first card that I think is worthy of a top loader, my guy, the little Mander. And we'll put we'll put War Turtle on the sleeve. We might have a nice little birthday gift for Zach by the time we're done with this video. Another set of uh, Squirtle cards to add to his collection. Actually, I've said a, I've said a lot of stuff aside for Zach's birth for Zach's birthday. I don't know why my voice just cracked so hard. It looks like we got another Pika Blue card. So we're going to have a lot of these. Come on, we need help. It's a cute card, though. We got that, that. Yeah, that's the one we got in the hollow. We also got Leaving the Nest. Oh, this one's sick, dude. Look at this. Nick and Nick is taking too much tea. His voice is cracking. This is sick right here. Mechanical Mewtwo. Zach, we're going to have to watch this movie when you come over, too. We haven't seen this one in a while. Or I haven't watched this one in a while. Some real old school stuff. The edges really don't look that great on some of these hollows. But still cool to sleeve up. Nick needs some tea. His voice is cracking. <laughs> Pokey Marathon. 
I'm down, bro. The rebirth of Ash, so another repeat offender. Marina in chaos. Rest and relaxation at last. So I guess now that I'm remember, so there was a like a mini movie before the movie wasn't there. So Pikachu's vacation was like what they showed. Like it was like the credits. It was like the intro. I don't know. It looks like we might have a. What? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, boy. Dude, clean. We're going to have the whole evolution line. Great Charmeleon artwork here. It reminds me of the uh, the dark Charmeleon from the Team Rocket set. Very nice. So, yeah, what did you guys think about the Mayweather and Logan fight if you watched it? We got a lot of people in here tonight for such a late stream. We got like 50 people watching on the late night stream. We're going to put him in a card saver too because I want to get the whole evolution line of uh, Charmander graded. Very nice. And I believe all of these cards, so the insert cards are one thing. It's good to get the insert. Jesslyn says, smash that like button. 50 likes to make the Charizard appear. I appreciate you, Jesslyn. Um, but these are the cards that come in die-cut versions. So it's rare to get them as inserts, but it's even more rare to get them in the clear die-cut variation. Is Kobe still in here? After this pack, I want to pull up Kobe's stream and take a look at Kobe for a second. Racing cheek to cheek. Do we have another Pika Blue card? We do not. And this one, oh, they're both backwards. Introductions. Mewtwo was such a badass in that movie. I was scared of that movie the first time I saw it. So we got success with Charizard about to sit on Meowth's face. And then, uh, like it never happened in Hollow. Here, let's pull up. Let's have a look at Kobe's beautiful mug really quick. Laura wants to see 69 likes. That's what's going to get... Uh... Whoa, why do I have so many notifications? Did I miss something important? Hold on. Let's pull up Kobe's... Uh... Pokey Kobe. Which one was it, guys? Ten hours ago? Oh, I love that beat. Hold on. This wasn't it. This is only 54 seconds right here. You guys will have to guide me on this one. Which one is it? So far, you said, hope it doesn't stick and about to sit on his face. Pretty decent stream so far. Did you see the Pokemon, the first movie? Yeah, I did see it. I thought it was really good. Look at the chat, Nick. Oh, my God. Um, the stream from yesterday was uploaded. Oh, wasn't uploaded. I thought you said it was, Jesslyn. That's why I went to look. My bad. My bad. I could have sworn you said it was. That's my bad. He was at Bunga's house. Oh, okay. Chris sent me like a screenshot of it or whatever he did. Here, oh, Chris, bro. Chris, should I save this card for you, bro? Tokopi in trouble. What a cute card. You guys know what else I'm going to do this month that I think is going to be really fun? I bought every single... So it's pretty similar to this, so I might do this like tomorrow... But I bought every single Burger King, like the whole set of the sealed Burger King toys that were released as promotion for this movie. So I wanted to open the entire set of Burger King toys on the channel um, and kind of go through that nostalgia of the first movie. Because for me, one of my best Pokemon memories is when that movie came out and going to get these toys at, uh, at Burger King. But we got the Togepi in trouble for Chris. Very cool. Chris said, rip it. A call to arms. Teamwork. Let's see if they spelled this guy's name wrong again. Buru. Oh, we got another insert here with uh, Dratini. Where is it? Buru, Buru. There it is, yep. 
Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Raichu, Pika Blue, and Buru work together. Cubone decides to join their ranks. We'll put that with our stack of uh, Pika Blue error cards. And we got a nice Dratini insert. The Dragonite would be nice to get. Dragonite is... Like, Dragonite's a sleeper Pokemon. I feel like everybody... It's in their top ten. Everybody loves Dragonite, but it doesn't get the love that I think it deserves. Your daddy just looked and couldn't find it. Yeah, how did Chris watch it? Because he didn't watch it live. So what do we have here? Is this another sticker? Ooh, guys, see? What do we get here? If this is a Squirtle, Zach, this is your lucky day. So, like I said, you can get these cards in Hollow, which would be very cool. We could get the Charizard in Hollow. What's this card first? So we did get another sticker. And we got War Turtle in a Hollow, which is r really rare to get one of the insert cards in Hollow. It's rare to get them in the die cut, but I think it's a lot more rare to get them in Hollow. So that's that's pretty cool. Farewell. That's a cool. Look how pixelated this is. It looks like they took this screenshot off like a TV. It looks like they took an iPhone picture of a TV. Look how pixelated this is. But I love this older these older products like this, man. It's just like it just kind of shows you the mindset that, that they had when they were making these. It's kind of crazy. War Turtle don't get enough love. I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm not a huge fan of War Turtle. You're going to hate me for that, but I think the design is a little weak. All right, we'll put our sticker over here. We'll sleeve up our Dratini. How sick would it be to get Charmander in a hollow from this? But yeah, guys, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you guys can get your hands on some Tops packs, Definitely do it. It's worth it. It's fun. It's always a good idea. I mean, it kind of sucks because with the Pokemon boom that we've had over the past year, I mean, this stuff was like, if you're talking 2019, in 2018, 2019, you could probably get this box for like 100 bucks or less. Like back then, they weren't going for anything, but now that everyone's into Pokemon and everybody wants to rip boxes and open packs, the price on all this stuff went crazy. If Kobe allows it, I can send you a picture of his sweet mug. Should we do a Kobe face reveal on this video? Or would that drop too many panties in the chat? Rebellion. That's a sick looking card too. That would be sick to get in a hollow. What's this? This looks like a piece of the puzzle maybe? Or this is like the list? Oh, Zach, bro. So we got the list here. Zach is killing it on the Squirtles. I don't know if I'm going to give Zach all these or not. It looks like... What is this? This is like a mini card? Oh, this is the die cut. Look at the edges. So the little die cut embossed Squirtle. Very cool. I think that's valuable, the list says Greg. I'll put that in a sleeve too then. These are, I mean, I'm telling you, this older stuff is just cool. These little, like the hollows and the die cut and the sticker. I mean, it just gives you a cool little chase in some of this stuff. I think that would be a good birthday gift for Zach, though. Zach only needs one. <laughs> All right, let me put this, uh, <laughs> put the list in a sleeve. Yeah, but this, this stuff's cool. Chris says, hi, Greg. Bye, Greg. He says, I might be wrong, but I think so. Better safe than sorry. So it looks like we got something cool as a hollow behind it. But we got Dragonair. Oh, no way. No way. This is going to be such a good opening because I've already got what I want out of it. This is going to be such a good opening. My little guy. God, this is so dope. This is so dope. Oh, that's so sick. So sick. That is a good looking Mander. I'm getting, I gotta get this graded. This is so sick. The corners look a little bit, like there's a little bit of damage on them. Oh, that's such a sick card. 
So sick. This is such a cool set. It is, honestly, it is a little bit pricey for what it is because the majority of the set is just screenshots of the movie. So to pay 800 bucks for something like this is pretty pricey, but it's fun. I had to do it for the channel. Um, but there's so much cool stuff in it like this. I mean, this is so cool. And these, like I said, it's really hard to get these the insert cards as a hollow. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. So we got our Dragonair insert. And we're still not done with this pack. We still could have some more. Pikachu's Vacation, which might be another Pika Blue card. Whoa, what is that? Um, let's see. I don't see Pika Blue on this one. They got like every other Pokemon except it. Pikachu, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charizard, Pidgeotto, Zubat, Onix, Geodude, Vulpix, Psyduck, Togepi, Goldeen, Staryu, Starmie. So everything but the Pika Blue. Awakenings. Oh, that's cool. The tail end of the race. That is a Charizard. I'm going to put that in a sleeve. we got to sleeve up every Charizard, right? I think how much did this box how much did this box cost you says Piers? I believe I paid about 800 for this one. You can get them for like 6. If you get the black label, the black label is like the second printing, but this is first edition. So if you get these cards graded, their first edition is it's worth a little bit more money. And the first edition is the only one where you can get the error card. So if you get them graded, you can get a little bit more value out of this set. Okay. Yeah, this is fun. This this pack looks kind of damaged, so hopefully there's nothing crazy in here. Chris is causing trouble in the chat. Laura is being a fantastic moderator. I appreciate you. Louis Lukic says, Yo, Nick, I just wanted to let you know I got a job yesterday working minimum wage at a pizza place, washing dishes. I can't even eat pizza. I can even eat pizza for free while I work. That's awesome, bro. My good friend Alex Powers works at a uh, pizza shop. The stairwell. The rebirth of Ash. Marina in chaos. It looks like we might have another sticker, I believe. So we got a Nidoran, a Voltorb, Venonat, Volpix, Jolteon, and Machop. What's up, Poke Barn? This is an awesome box. Try to get this. So here's our hollow. The Tears of Pokemon. So I guess that was the scene where they brought Ash back to life. Pikachu started crying. Everybody else started crying. And the power of Pokemon Tears brought Ash back to life. Why, Wreck? What's up, bro? The winner of the giveaway. Like it never happened. And consciousness and congratulations. Very nice. Jolteon says Zach, Laura, Frog Gang. Chris says give Tom a rent. Didn't you just time out, Tom? Chris, make up your mind. Agreed. Bro, let's talk about the tea with Nick Walker and Blessing is over. Nick uploaded Nick uploaded a video training legs and he talked about Blessing and he will be on Nick's channel for leg day. I mean, I think that'll be a pretty cool collaboration, don't you? You're not excited to see that? Open Evo, says Chris. I don't have any Evos with me right now. I've got a fake Evos box. Hannah hates cardio, says, what does the wrench mean? It means you're a moderator. Wrench, wrench gives you a little bit of power in the chat, and sometimes we got people that get a little bit power hungry in the chat when they get the wrench. Yeah, I got you. I got you, Wyrek. A great day. That might be a Pika Blue card. Hannah hates cardio. Is that Hannah Hussein? 
Uh, we don't have a Pika Blue on this. Oh, we do. This is another Pika Blue card. Buru, Raichu, Pika Blue, and Cubone with one last thing to do. Oh, this is kind of a cool one. Round one equals defeat. So you've got the clone Charizard, the clone Blastoise, Mewtwo, and the clone Venusaur. It's kind of a janky looking Charizard, to be honest. Nick is going to open a fake vivid box just for you, Chris. <laughs> Reunited, and it feels so good. Oh, there's a nice... Uh, is that Ivysaur? Yeah, it's Ivysaur. So there's another insert card. Cute little Ivysaur. And then we've got A Great Day. It reminds me of that song by Travis Tritt. I got rice cooking in the microwave. That's definitely a, that's definitely a keeper. That's a peak of blue card. This one might be a peak of blue card. Your lives are fire, Nick. Hannah Hussein, what's up? Hannah is one of our uh, resident bodybuilders. This one, not a Pika Blue. Pikachu, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charizard, Pidgeotto, Zubat, Onyx, Geodude, Vulpix, Psyduck, Togepi, Koi. <laughs> so everybody but the Pika Blue. Interesting. Awakening. And another, the tail end of the race. So it's a Charizard card, so we got to put it in a sleeve. Play This Is What Dreams Are Made Of by Marilyn Manson, says Chris. Jesslyn says, make sure you smash the like button. Karma in the Water says, that looks 18 plus. What does? Sup, Nick, did you catch the fight tonight? Says Angel Mendez with a $5 donation. Thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate that, as always. I did. Me and, uh, me and Chris were just watching it. What did you think of the Mayweather versus uh, Logan Paul thing? I thought Logan Paul did pretty good, all things considered. I, I was, I was kind of surprised that he lasted as long as he did. I was surprised by the first round. Throw me that wrench, because you know what? Tom Riddle, he's been here long enough. Tom's like an OG. I'm going to give Tom a wrench before Chris times him out again. Chris is getting a little bit too reckless with the timeouts in the chat. I'm glad that we had Hannah stop by, though. I haven't seen Hannah in the chats yet. I can't remember what Hannah's username is, but look up Hannah Hussein on Instagram. Check her out. Zach with 199 says, don't sing anymore, bro. Zach. Why are you doing me like that, bro? The Invitation. This one's kind of sticky. Oh, that's cute. How cute is that? New friends and farewells. Chris is crying. He's going to look for someone else to time out. This looks like a Pika Blue card. So... If anyone didn't catch it, this is the uh, first printing of the Topps movie booster box, which means there's a lot of error cards and spelling errors. Topps didn't really know what was going on with Pokemon yet. So Meryl, our little blue friend right here, and Snubble, Topps didn't know the names. So they called them Pika Blue. Pika Pikachu extends its hand and gives Buru a handshake. Oh, it doesn't actually say Pika Blue on the back, but we do have a Pika Blue on the front. Nick, you need a giant beanbag chair for your new crib. Bro, why don't you gift me one, bro? Grant, I can't wait for you to see what I bought you, bro. There we go. Here's a Bulbasaur. We got to put that in the sleeve. It looks like we got another sticker. Grant, the gift that I got you is so epic, bro. You're going to... Hopefully you like it. I got the notification from Etsy today that it shipped, and it's uh, going to be out for delivery tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, it's, pr it's, it's pretty cool. Maybe he will appreciate it more than Kirby. Yeah, I got Grant a uh, Kirby Amiibo for our Friendsmas celebration. So we got another sticker insert card. Snorlax, Scyther, Mankey, Clefairy, Lapras, and Gloom. Jesslyn says hashtag Team Hannah. Nick, buy one. Nick buys for everyone except me. Yeah, I didn't... What did I get you for your birthday, Chris? I got you something. So we got a hollow the stairwell. Probably not the most desirable hollow to get out of this set. Honestly, any of these screenshots from the movie are probably what you would consider the not good hollows. Everyone pool, that's another peak of blue card. And the proposition, looking like something really dicey is going down in this card. What's their what's their description on this? 
Those fools thought you were a scientific experiment, but I see you as a valuable partner, says the elusive leader of the notorious Team Rocket. The boss proposes that Mewtwo join forces with him and together they can rule the world. Giovanni and his Persian. Follow Nick on Instagram to see Logan's Charizard chain. I appreciate that, Jesslyn. Alex Diaz, what's up, bro? Logan wore a base set Zard necklace to the ring, says Wyrek. Yeah, we, I saw it. It was the BGS 10, which is a quarter million dollar card. And he had it on a diamond encrusted chain. I got to say, I was pretty uh, I was pretty happy to see that. A lot of people thought he was going to go live and do a box break right after the fight to get like peak viewership because this is like the peak of his celebrity right now. The Battle of the Champions, Playtime, very cute Pikachu's vacation card. Venusaur, there we go. Was there a card behind here though? Did I miss something? I think I did. But we got Venusaur. We still got to get the, the Charizard. Do we have another Charmander? Nice, another Charmeleon. So we got two inserts on this one. And I skipped the card over here. So we got to sleeve up those inserts. So like I was saying before, basically anything that's not a screenshot is a good card to get. Jesslyn says, I'm sure he was way too tired after getting worked by Floyd. Yeah, he did look like he was pretty gassed out in those later rounds. It reminded me a lot of the Mayweather fight with Floyd. I feel like he played around with May or with uh not Mayweather. What am I what am I saying here? The uh McGregor, the McGregor fight with Floyd. I feel like he played around a lot with uh McGregor in the beginning and he let uh, McGregor I keep getting their names mixed up. He let McGregor hit him a lot in the beginning and then towards the end McGregor gassed out and he was kind of tying him up like Logan was. They were kind of wrestling up against the ropes. It seemed very similar to that. Mayweather's defense is really good and he knew that Logan being much bigger, he had to uh, kind of wear him down. But so far, I think the best card, my favorite card that we've pulled so far is this right here. The cutest Charmander card that ever did exist. And we got it in a hollow, which is pretty hard to get. Chris says, should I fire my Glock, <laughs> bro? Dub Dub, what's up, bro? The Tears of Pokemon, so we got that one already. The best of the best. And then this super weak screenshot of a Mew with just the caption Legends. So that's our hollow, is this thick thigh screenshot of Mew. Is there anything else? Nope, that's the last card. All right. So, so far, I think we're doing really well. We're not even halfway through this box. I feel like we're getting some really good stuff. Yeah, Chris is doing his best to be a horrible moderator. And Laura is not having it. Laura, we're, we're getting close to that 69 likes for Laura. Laura, is one, Laura, one of these American dudes are going to wife you. <laughs> Psychic showdown. That's what Laura wants. Laura wants the green card to the U.S. She's got to come over here from uh, Ireland. She's got to get an American dude. I think it's going to be Chris. They hate each other now. Don fan. Oh, nice. What do you think a PSA 10 trapped Charizard goes for? You don't see that every day. Laura and Chris are going to be the couple of the century, I'm telling you. Oh, guys. We got another hollow insert. Hold on. I don't want to see the insert yet, so let's see what the sticker card is. Ekans coughing, wheezing, meowth, Persian, and Arbok is our sticker. Oh, nice. A hollow Dragonite. Very good hollow to get. Ooh, guys, come on. The heat's not over. We got another, either a Charmander, Charmeleon, or a Charizard. Hopefully it's a Charizard so we can complete this. Uh... Yes, a green card. Sign me up, says Laura. Oh, it's not. I, was, I thought it was going to be a, okay. A little bit of a tease there. The new friends and farewells. Clones. Oh, Chris, bro. Are you sure you don't want this card? 
Chris says, no, I have a girlfriend, and I don't want anyone else besides Nicole. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that to mess with Chris because Chris's girlfriend, Nicole, watches sometimes. She gets mad when uh, Chris interacts with any girl in the chat. So I was just playing. I'm sorry, Nicole. I love you, Nicole. Chris is faithful. Chris is loyal. He's never cheated on you. He's never even thought about another woman unless that woman was a career actor on The Hub. All right. Don't cry, Togepi. I'm going to set that aside for Chris because I think once Chris sobers up, he's going to want that card. And Dragonite, very cool. Dragonite, I think even... I don't have very many top loaders left, but I think Dragonite should go in a top loader. Chris going to throw a Pokeball at Nicole and say, I choose you. I keep asking him when he's going to propose. Chris is all jokes in the chat, even though some of them could get Nick in trouble. <laughs> I don't mind most of the time because I know Chris well enough. I know what kind of friendship we have. So it would only make me mad if I knew Chris was doing it purely out of spite. But I know Chris is doing it because that's just how Chris is. I'm way too familiar with Chris's antics to get mad at it. But he knows he'll get that wrench taken away if he crosses the line. So for the most part, I feel like Chris behaves. But yeah, when PSA reopens, I think I'm going to send in this trap Charizard just to add to my graded Charizard collection. I feel like this is a cool card to get graded that most people probably wouldn't. But it'd be a cool card to have in a 10. And it looks pretty sharp. Trap Charizard. I hope you guys are enjoying these tops openings. I want to do a lot more of these. And hopefully if you guys enjoy them, I'm going to do a lot more of them in June and we'll get, a, we'll get a couple more boxes. Maybe if I'm really feeling lucky, I'll buy one of those top series three boxes, which are like $3,000. But I think that would be a really cool opening. It's basically the, the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme of tops, tops opening. So Austin Quisada, what's up, bro? Chris, you're really pushing it now. Zach says, it ain't a real friendship unless you've met in a public dorm restroom. That's how me and Zach met. I'm pretty sure one of us was shirtless. I think Zach was getting out of the shower or something, and we bonded. We were like, man, you look like you lift. You want to work out sometime on some really, some very hetero stuff? Rest and relaxation at last, and that was like, that was 10 years ago probably. 2011. The best of the best. Another War Turtle for Zach, and I think we've got another card behind here. The Tears of Pokemon. My dog is, like, sneezing over there. Quit. What are you doing, buddy? That was a bit much sus. <laughs> yeah, we met in the... Sh we low-key met in the shower. Togepi in trouble. Oh, Here's our hollow. Rest and relaxation at last. Togepi in trouble. Now, we, we had one of those dorm rooms where it was super... Uh, it was like uh, you had to share the bathroom, and they were like super shady, like... I don't even know how to describe it. It was like one of those dorm rooms where you had like a communal bathroom, and the showers were like communal showers. It was like a prison shower. It was kind of a pretty shitty dorm room, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. My dog reverse sneezes and it sounds like he's choking. Do you have a Yorkie? My Yorkie does that all the time, bro. Chris is setting a bad rap. Oh, Jesslyn's talking about Chris saying that was a bit much. Yeah, Chris is, uh, Chris is pushing it. Chris says, I've <laughs> yeah, Chris's parents used to think that his mom used to be like, because Chris never had a girlfriend too, so that made it worse. I had a girlfriend all throughout high school, but Chris never did, and his mom always was very suspicious about that. Psychic Showdown. Don Fan. Looks like we got another, uh, it's a Boston Terrier. It's a flat nose. Another sticker card. I think we already got this one. Meowth times two 
But there's only one Meowth in it. Interesting. Stealing Pokemon. Like it never happened. Consciousness and congratulations. So still no Charizard. We still got to complete the evolution line. We still got plenty of packs to go. I think I'm going to save these two packs for last. Let's see how many packs we got left in here. Try to... Uh, they're so tightly packed in here. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of packs left. Our odds are uh, looking pretty good that we might, still, <laughs> we might still get some good stuff out of here. All right, cool. So we got a lot of stuff to go. Dude, those dorms bathrooms sucked. I always puke somewhere. Yeah, we only had what? We had like two toilets in there. Two toilets and three showers, if I remember right. And we had to share it with, like, our floor had, like, 30 dudes on the floor. I'm about to hop off here, bro. I'll watch the replay tomorrow at the gym, says Zach. All right, bro. Take it easy. I know it's a late night for Zach. Zach never stays up late. Midnight is, like, the extent for Zach. The water race is on. That's a, that's a new one. Zach, check out that Squirtle. I'm going to set that one aside for Zach, too. I'll put it in the Togepi pile for Chris. Another piece of the puzzle, so another sticker. A Meowth. Have not got that one yet. So this should be our hollow, I think. The Tempest and a Bad Omen. Night, Zach. Thanks for stopping by, bro. I guess that's... It is stuck. Tempest and a Bad Omen. Here's another new card that we haven't gotten yet. Battle before lunch. Where's the last lunch when you need her? Some off-brand pirate looking dude. The battle renewed. A little squirtle there too. Every time I see a squirtle now, I think of Zach. And the chase for Pikachu. Another one that we've not gotten yet. She's with Kobe. What are you talking about, Chris? Who's with Kobe? Giving Kobe the whole thing. Who are we talking about here? I feel like I missed something important in the chat. Underwater adventure. Psychic showdown. Something behind here? I guess not. Maybe. Yeah, there is something behind there. A Don fan. Looks like we got another sticker here. Oh, bro. That's got Zach's name all over it right there. I wonder if there's one of those for Charizard, Charmander, and Charmeleon. Our hollow is clones. Stealing Pokemon. And then like it never happened. Oh, and also a consciousness and congratulations. This is like a, it's kind of cool. Zach left like at the worst possible time when we pulled the coolest thing. This has Zach's name all over it. He's about to have like a birthday envelope full of cards. Zach is turning the dirty 30. Kobe and LL. Oh, yeah, I could tell they've got a thing. Last lunch, I could tell they've got something going on. That's cute. Pokemon brought them together. Will Pokemon tear them apart? Find out on tomorrow's episode of the Poke Dojo. Success. Laura says, we've got 62 likes. We're so close. To that 69, we're just at the tip. Just the tip, Laura says. Another Squirtle for Zach. Ooh, that looks like... Is there another card behind here? And another uh, Ivysaur. That looks like a nice hollow to get right there. 
So we got the set list in a hollow. Laura is like 43 years old, says Tom. I don't believe it. I think Laura said she's, what, 33 or something? We're at 68, Laura. How's that feel? We're right on the edge. Then we've got Peacemaker Pikachu. I think that is definitely a Pika Blue card. Yep, that Buru and Pika Blue Raichu and Cubone woke up Togepi, and we'll put that in our Pika Blue pile. Rebellion. Meg the Gamer stopping by to say hi. What's up, Meg? How you doing? Everyone's up late tonight. Enjoying a nice post-Mayweather fight Pokemon opening. Full booster box of tops today for sure. Ooh, nice. The fight rages on. Zard biting a Zard. Hopefully that is an omen of things to come. Okay, that's one card, I think, yeah. Rescuing Pikachu. Laura's only 31, she says. These ones are a little bit more sticky. Ash's Sacrifice. Ooh, what do we have here? Could it, could it have been an omen of things to come? Zard biting a Zard. Ooh, another Charmander. I can't even be mad that it's not a Charizard because that Charmander is so cute. And we got another sticker. Oh, nice. It was an omen of things to come. The Charmander Charmeleon Charizard sticker. I wonder if these still even have any adhesive left. 22 years old these cards are. Look at that Charizard artwork. That's one you don't see very often. I was born in 89, Tom. I cannot get enough of these Charmanders. They're so cool. We still have our Hollow to be revealed. Here's another one we haven't gotten yet, I don't think. The future looks bright and Mew flying off into the clouds. The Temple of Mewtwo and then Reunited. And it feels so good. Any Zards yet? Not the Zards that we want. We just got that sticker Zard, but we do have the Hollow Dragonite, which I would say is probably our best pull next to the Hollow Charmander. The Hollow Charmander is my favorite pull of the night so far. Really cool cards to get. Charmander kind of blowing some embers off of his tail. But we still need that Zardy boy. For sure. Did Chris leave too? I feel like Chris's girlfriend got mad at him and made him get off the stream. What happened to Chris? Peacemaker Pikachu. I think that was a Pika Blue card. Or wait, there's a card behind here. It looks like a call to arms. Chris, where are you at, bro? Charmeleon again. That Charizard is eluding us. But Charmeleon, you can't be mad at that. We just need to complete that evolution line before this opening's over. Our Hollow, here's one we haven't gotten yet. Underwater Adventure. Mechanical Mewtwo. Success with Charizard about to sit on Meowth's face. And the Nefarious Team Rocket, another one we haven't gotten yet. Chris might have died, guys. Where'd Chris go? Laura is calling for Chris. Sixty-seven likes, Laura. They're just they're teasing you, Laura. Elon sucks. <laughs> Says hi, kids. Do you have any relation to Elon Muck? Elon Muck is a frequent lurker of the chat. A great day. A sticky day. Round one equals defeat with all the clones in there. 
I think we might have a really good hollow in this one. Laura likes to be teased. Reunited. And it feels so good. Is this the hollow? Or is the next card the hollow? Oh, what do we have here? Ooh. So we got the Raichu Pikachu Pikachu sticker. And we got the Hollow Charmeleon. Dude, that'd be so sick if we can get the Hollow Charizard out of here, too. Have the complete set in Hollow. I mean, our odds aren't going to be that great. So the only hollows that we've gotten out of here that aren't uh, that aren't movie cards have been the Dragonite, the Charmander, and the Charmeleon. And I think we got that that card there. And I think we got a War Turtle. So we've been lucky to get the whole evolution line of Charizard and Hollow, except for the Charizard. This has to go in a card saver for sure. Chat, y'all are the best. Oh, did we get past sixty nine? Nice. We did it for Laura. Laura, I hope that felt as good as you thought it was going to feel. I hope that was everything you ever thought it was going to be. How much is the Hollow Zard worth? I actually have no clue. All right, so we have two more cards in this pack. The Battle of Champions. Playtime. Tesla went up like 5%. Why? Why did Tesla go up? Trying out the new toy. That's actually a sick looking card. It was hot and sweaty. Just how I like it. <laughs> Laura is always like right on the edge of getting these, uh, getting these videos age restricted. <laughs> Laura is trying out the new toy, says Tom. Trap Charizard. We got to get that one graded again. We'll do it two times. If we ever have the opportunity to get cards graded, it is officially now June 7th. So PSA is now, or Beckett is now officially shut down and no longer accepting New orders. Meowth times two. Peacemaker Pikachu. Oh, there's another card behind here. And it is an insert. Another War Turtle. Already did that earlier, Tom. I'm tired now. <laughs> Laura, what time is it for you? So we got a Hollow Introductions, which is kind of a cool looking card. Togepi is in trouble. Shout out to Chris. The Invitation. And New Friends and Farewells. I already did that earlier. I'm too tired. When is PSA accepting cards again? They said July, but I guess we'll see what happens. Still holding Doge? Yes, I am still holding Doge. It's 6.13 a.m. Jeez, Laura. Talk about being a night owl. I thought I was a night owl. It's about 1 a.m. right here. The Nefarious Team Rocket. Better than ever. I don't think we got that one yet. The Temple of Mewtwo. Oh, guys. Guys, Tom Riddle called a Zard pack, and Tom Riddle was correct. Very nice. Now we just need to get it in a hollow, but I'm glad that we got it. Very nice. Trunk Monkey, what's up, bro? He says, good to finally catch a stream. You just finished school and it feels so good. Did you finish school just for the summer or you finished school like totally? You're done now. You graduated. Either way, I'm happy for you. 
That's always a good feeling. See, Nick equals Zard King, says Laura. Laura, you know what it is. You know it's because we got to 69 likes. That's what the Zard was waiting for. That Zard is on a bulk. Ooh, nice. Consciousness and congratulations is our hollow. And we got another Charizard biting a Charizard. The fight rages. Introductions and race, racing cheek to cheek. Which I think is another Pika Blue card. Well, maybe not. That Zard was the. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's going to be more Zards. I have a feeling we're going to get it in a hollow. This box, I feel like this box was made for this opening. The hollow Charmander, the hollow Charmeleon. The odds of getting both of those. Not great. So the fact that we already got that much of the evolution line in a hollow, I think, is a sign of things to come. Rebellion. There's the list. The stairwell. Looks like we got another sticker. I think we've already got this sticker. Ooh, big Pikachu sticker. I think that is a good one to get. And our hollow Dragonair. We might get the whole Dragonite evolution line. I don't think we've gotten a Dratini yet, but Dragonair has always been one of my favorites. Clones. Chris is dead. <laughs> don't cry, Tokopi. Shout out to Chris. And Mechanical Mewtwo. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Chris. I, I feel like his girl might have really got mad at him. Any prediction for how high Doge is going to go? Well, I'm hoping it just at least gets to a dollar. Is Doge doing anything right now? Is it worth looking at right now, or is it not doing anything? We need that Chaos Chris in the chat, says Trunk Monkey. Venusaur is greater than Zard, says Denny Stone. Hollow Zard coming soon, says Tom. I certainly hope so. The battle renewed. The chase for Pikachu. Pikachu's vacation. <laughs> Just straight up, that's the title of the card. Bulbasaur. Very nice. And our hollow should be... Maybe it's this card stuck to this card. Hold on, let's see what we got here. Nice. Our first Blastoise. That's not our hollow. Although I thought it should be. That's a chunky Blastoise, too. Look at the thighs on that boy. Nick Biddle stopping by just to flex. Laura says, okay, Nicole, I do not have a thing for Chris. We hate each other. It's all good. Ooh, I only have one card saver left. Or do I have two? I have two left. So this Blastoise will go in the card saver, but I'll save the last card saver for the Hollow Zard, which you know we're going to end up getting. Blastoise is probably going to end up going to Zack anyway. Let's be honest. So our Hollow. Ooh, that's nice. If only Chris were still here. So then we also had Marina in Chaos, the Rebirth of Ash. This Togepi, I think this is a Chris card. This has got to go to Chris. Ribbit, ribbit, says Laura. She's... <laughs> She's giving out Chris's mating call. Nick Biddle, though, good to have you here. There's Chris. He says, I'm opening McDonald's packs. Chris, did you see what we just pulled for you? I'll give you this, bro. Looks like trouble. That's got to be a peek of blue card. As soon as Tokopi is asleep, Trouble approaches, tromping down. Oh, there you go. Brew, Raichu, Cubone, and Pika Blue. Another Pika Blue card. 
Awakening. The tail end of the race, another cool Zard card. Ooh, something behind there. Another Venusaur. Very nice. And another sticker, it looks like. Bulbasaur sticker. God, this is such a cool set. I love this set. Our hollow is this random knockoff battle before lunch. Shout out to last lunch. The story of Mewtwo and the ultimate match. Yeah, this has been a really cool set. I'm really glad I bought this. I was kind of wondering how exciting it would be or how fun it was going to be because there are so many movie screenshots, but I really am enjoying this. I hope you guys are as well. Yeah, Chris, what McDonald's packs are you opening? Are you just... I think Chris might just be drunk. Let me check my phone and see if Chris is texting me anything. He would probably text me behind the scenes if he got in any trouble for real. You no, know, Chris didn't text me, so he's probably he's probably just drunk. Chris, I hope you're doing well, bro. I know he's drinking tonight, so he's probably about to pass out. The fight rages. Another Ivysaur. Wait, was there a card behind here, too? Rescuing Pikachu. And a hollow... New Friends and Farewells. I really do need to watch this movie again. So I, I really don't remember anything from the uh, Pikachu's Vacation movie. The water race is on. Actually, a drive. Chris says, if a hollow Zard isn't pulled, I'll rip a big card from my collection. Don't do it. What card will you rip, bro? Nick, are you Team Eddie or Team Thor? I don't have a prediction yet, bro. I think we need to see some more uh, some more footage from their training camps. The hollow pattern is so dope from this set. Yeah, bro, I agree. I really like it, too. You guys are keeping me entertained while I'm doing cardio. Much appreciated, says Hannah Hates Cardio. I guess the username is very fitting, then. Don't cry, Tokopi. Mechanical Mewtwo. Is there a card behind this? Nope. Success. Charizard is about to sit on Meowth's face. Another Dragonite. Very nice. Ooh. And behind Dragonite, you've got Dratini. And behind... Oh, or you got Dragonair. That was pretty cool. Did you... That was pretty cool. You just got all three of the evolution line in one pack, and we got the hollow we needed to complete the evolution line. We got another Pika Blue card. An underwater adventure. Very cool. A drive says nice. Is that the actual A drive? But yeah, that's pretty cool. So now we got the whole evolution line. I've got so many different piles of cards going right now. I've got a pile for Chris. I've got a pile for Zach. I've got a pile of hits. Tom is trying to lick Laura's peach in the chat. You got to love those 124 a.m. Pokemon stream vibes when the chat, everybody is ready to go crazy on each other. Yeah, that was a really cool pack. Charizard in Meowth sounds like it could be a film on the hub. That's kind of a... Oh, the Charizard sitting on his face, yeah. I could see that. No, no. Just reinforcing what she said, says Tom. So we still got to pull the hollow Zard. That's still the chase, and we still got, I think, at least 10 packs to go. 
Another Charizard biting a Charizard. Very sticky to the card behind it. Shit. Hannah, what are you doing cardio for? Are you getting ready for a show? Rescuing Pikachu. Ash's Sacrifice. Another beautiful, beautiful Charmander. Excuse me, Nick. Did you keep me a Catarzard and a Chansey from the fake Evo box? Otherwise, I'm unsobbing. Yes, I did keep them for you. Now, I can't remember if you sent me your address in Ireland or not. But yeah, I have... <laughs> you should see my desk. I've got so many piles of stuff that people have asked for. I've got piles of stuff for Zach. I've got piles of stuff for Chris. I got I've got some slow bros for Jay Ataro. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff sitting around here. So another Charmander, a beautiful little Mander. Hannah says, yes, I'm competing at the end of August. Hannah, are you trying to get your pro card? I'm gonna feel stupid for asking this now, but I think you're I think you're still competing in the NPC. I don't think you're you're not you're not a pro yet, are you? Now I can't remember. Okay, great. I won't unsub. I'll send my address tomorrow. You might have already sent it. And then Ash and Company, and then Racing Cheek to Cheek is our hollow. Whoops, I put Laura Hates Cardio. <laughs> yes, trying to get my pro card. Okay, that's what I thought. And are you still doing figure or are you in physique now? I love cardio, but not working out cardio, says Laura. Laura, all cardio is working out cardio. You just got to look at it the right way. Looks like we might have a, maybe a decent hollow in here. Introductions. Racing cheek to cheek. Battle before lunch. Looks like another Dragonite, but is there another card behind here? Nope. Another Dragonite. Another sticker. If I can get it off here. Bulbasaur. And is this our hollow? Ooh, nice. Another hollow Togepi. I'm setting that aside for Chris, too. I'm too nice to Chris. And our list card and a the stairwell. Chris is going to have a big stack of Togepis. I'm physique now. That's what I thought. But you started out figure, right? Later, Jay. Oh, Jay says, awesome stream. Gotta go. Hope you find the Hollows Art. Jay, thanks for stopping by, bro. I appreciate you watching. I have faith that we will pull the Hollows Art. But if not, I'm certainly happy with some of the Hollows that we've gotten so far. The Trainer's Failure. I don't know if we've pulled that one yet. Very sticky. Everyone pool. That's another peek of blue card. The proposition. We've definitely gotten that one. Another Dratini. And another Dragonair. I wonder why those come in the same pack like that. And our hollow. Better than ever. Yes, I did figure for years and I don't miss it. In your opinion, Hannah, what would you say is the biggest difference between physique and figure? Do you think it's just overall muscle mass? Or do you think the standard for conditioning is that much higher in physique? Or do you think both? I always find it so hard to tell some of the differences because sometimes the figure girls are like really shredded and I can't tell like specifically what they're looking for between divisions. I don't know. It get, it, I feel like it gets confusing sometimes. I know physique is definitely like the more towards the women's bodybuilding side of things than figure, but 
I feel like the standard for conditioning and physique lately has been getting pretty, pretty crazy. The girl that just won the Olympia, Sarah Viegas, her conditioning was insane. But I know that Shanique Grant wasn't, uh, wasn't very happy about that. Chris says, what should I rip? You should rip a Zard, bro. No Tom, 69 minutes. Yeah, Laura, you need to do 69 minutes of cardio. Chris, you got to rip that czar, bro. Chris is, uh, his prized possession is his uh, base set unlimited. What is it, a PSA 8? Christopher Wade says, don't rip a czar. <laughs> Just send it to me. All right, so we've still got, what, six, seven, seven packs left? I like that guy's username, just Mushroom, but there's a space in between. There's something about the simplicity of that that I just, I like. The Battle of Champions. Playtime. Oh, nice. So nice. The die cut Charizard, maybe even better than the hollow. Very cool. Hannah says both. And of course, the posing, sometimes the judging gets confusing for sure. I'm personally much more comfortable in physique though, because no heels. See, that's, that's a detail that I never would have even thought, of, thought about. Man, this is so hard to get in the case because all these ridges. I wonder if this is even like, is this even something that's gradable? That's very cool. My prized possession is an ungraded reverse Evos Zard. Chris is leagues ahead of me, says Trunk Monkey. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Evo Zards are, that's where it's at. So we did get the die cut Zard, which is a really good card to get, but I still want to get that hollow. Pikachu is our sticker card. Let's see. I guess this would be the hollow. Ooh. I guess that kind of counts as a hollow Zard. Maybe, possibly, kind of. I'm running out of uh, top. I'm out of top loaders. I'm saving one top loader for the hollow. I'm going to have to find some more. I thought I brought another box over here. The future looks bright. I swear, I, I feel like I spend more money on the card savers than anything else. Mine is the Rainbow Rare Pikachu from Vivid Voltage. I just started collecting again a couple months ago, says Christopher, Christopher Wade. That's a really nice one to have as your, as your favorite. There's a lot of people that have never pulled that card, including me. Big submission for this box, definitely. Whenever, whenever the first company is that reopens, they're going to get a lot of tops cards, that's for sure. The Proposition, Looks Like Trouble, which is another peak of blue. Underwater Adventure, another Blastoise, nice. That can go in Zach's pile. This should be our Hollow, I would think. Hollow, A Call to Arms. Can you recommend a good superset for arms? Are you wanting to superset biceps and triceps or like a superset for one or the other? Like two exercises for biceps or two exercises for triceps or one for each? For buys and tries? I like to superset overhead... Uh, so if you do, if you're on the cable machine, I like to do overhead uh, extensions with the bar. So you take the little tricep barbell, um, put it all the way up to the top of the cable machine over your head and do extensions that way. And then superset that with bicep curls on the other side of the machine. That's one of my favorite, uh, favorite supersets to do for arms. Playtime. I think we might have another die cut card in here, maybe. Maybe not. Trying out the new toy. Did our music just expire? Did we go through the whole hour of hip-hop instrumentals? 
damn near. Is this two cards? I can't, okay. Venusaur. And another Charizard, but it's a non-hollow. But I will still take it. And then our hollow, which is right behind the Charizard, so we narrowly missed. Round one equals defeat. Chris really wants me to play This Is What Dreams Are Made Of by Marilyn Manson. Nice. I'm about to look this Charizard up while we're on stream and see what this goes for. So this is the... I think I've seen graded copies of it, but I don't know what they go for. So we should search Pokemon the first movie, Charizard, PSA. Hold on, let me pull this up. Charizard, Tops, first movie, PSA. Let's see. Oh, so that's pretty... These aren't sold listings, but... So if you get it in a hollow, there's a PSA 7 that's listed for 225. That's That seems really high. Um, the regular one in a 7 is listed for 90, which still seems really high. There's another 7... So here's the die cut in a seven, which is listed at 209. Let's see if there's any sold listings for these. Uh, tops. Filter by, or do you sort by? How do, we, how do I do this again? Exit. Sort. No, filter. Where's the sold listing filter? Show more. Oh, there we go. Sold listings. I rarely ever use eBay on my phone, so bear with me for a second. So, a PSA 5 of the non hollow sold for $42. That seems, that seems really good for a PSA 5. Maybe there's just a super limited population. A PSA 7 of the die cut did sell for $100. So, th these are definitely cards that are worth getting graded. PSA 7 going for 100 bucks. I mean, that's pretty good. There's a hollow in a PSA 8.5 that went for 150. There's a PSA 9 of the non-hollow that went for 200. So they must be really tough to grade. So a decently pretty decently valuable card. Either that or like you guys said it's really hard to grade. Do you know what kind of Charizard Logan was wearing in the fight? It was a BGS 10 first edition base set, I, I believe. I'm sure if you just sold these cards, just the raw versions of these cards, the Charizards, they probably don't go for very much. Um, but I would say a PSA 7 going for over 100 bucks is a pretty good value in a card. Trap Charizard again. I'm going to have to sleeve up a lot of these when the stream ends. Meowth times two, a puzzle piece. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I want to get this graded just for the hell of it. A hollow trap Charizard. I feel like this would be so cool just to get this graded just for fun. Very cool. But I can see why these are hard to grade. The edges on these hollows really don't look that great. Yeah, there's a lot of edge wear on these. But still, that's a very cool card. Put them up there with that Charizard. We also got new friends, clones, and a Don't Cry Togepi. Three packs left, guys. I think it's because of the stickiness that leaves a residue. Yeah, but this box hasn't been that sticky. I think we got a really good box. 
Chris, if you rip the reverse Zard, I'm seriously going to hurt myself. Don't do it, Chris. The tears of the Pokemon. We got another die cut for sure this time. Ash and Company. Is there another card behind Ash and Company? We got a die cut Dragonair. Very cool. Another Blastoise. And I guess our hollow should be behind there. A hollow, the best of the best. Togepi is in trouble. I missed the fight, but if I've seen everyone call, I've seen everyone call it the biggest con in boxing. Make no mistake about it, it was definitely a money grab. I don't think anyone would argue with that. I don't know if I'd call it a con. So we got two packs left, and they're both underneath all of our beautiful Charizard cards. We'll start with the left-hand side. The left side is the best side. Come on. We need help. The Tempest of Bad Omen. Farewell. Another Dragonite. Another Charizard. Very nice. And our Hollow. Rescuing Pikachu. Ash's Sacrifice and the Trainer's Failure. So we're doing really good on Charizards. We got one last pack. I need some fire in the chat because we need to get some last pack magic on this. But we're doing really well on Charizard so far. I definitely need to get some more card savers and get these loaded up immediately. How many do we have? The Charmanders. I honestly like the Charmander better than the Charizard. This last pack, guys. I'm really hoping we can pull a hollow Charizard from this last one. Let's see what we can do. Does this set include the card from the Pikachu's movie? Yes, it does. This includes the uh, error cards from that set. The Pika Blue cards. Very cool set. First card of the last pack is the best of the best. The Tears of Us. Ash and company. Tom is blasting some fire. Pikachu sticker. In our hollow, the water race is on. So not a Charizard, but let's see what else is in here. The battle before lunch, the battle renewed, and the chase for Pikachu. So, guys, this was a very cool, very fun opening, to be honest. So we got a bunch of Charizards. We got our hollow Charmeleon, our hollow Charmander. You can't go wrong. We got the die cut. This was a good opening, guys. This was definitely worth the money for me. I'm going to get a lot of this graded um, and see what it comes out to be. But I would say the die cut probably, I guess we'll see what happens when we get it graded. To me, it looks like it's in really good shape. I don't see too much edge wear on this bad boy. Maybe on all these jagged edges, there's going to be something. I don't know. It looks like it's probably a really tough card to grade, having all those edges like that, but... I guess we'll see what happens. I'm going to get it graded and let you guys know how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to do a lot more Tops openings like this in the future, so smash that like button on your way out. That's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I love you guys. It was good spending the night with you. Have fun. Have a great rest of your weekend, what's left of it. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we got a lot more where this came from coming this month. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.